Hello there, uh, I'm Michal Furyshek and I'm going to present problem F of this year's World Finals. So problem F is about the reverse. What we are given as the input in this problem is a tree. The leaves of the tree are sources of n different rivers and the rivers flow together to mo towards a common delta into the sea. So as they flow, they sometimes merge, there is sometimes a confluence of rivers and whenever this happens, the rivers continue under the name of one of the rivers that met at that place. So for example, in, here in this picture, the red river flows like this and the blue river merges into the red river at this point. So this is the current situation. What we are given is just the black shape of the tree. And now the people who are living close to the sources, each of them would like their river to be the, as long as possible, as important as possible, so they are fighting about those names. And the task in this problem is the following one. For each of the sources, we should consider all possible ways how to name the rivers when, when they meet, and to find such a naming when this river, this particular river, uh, is uh, at the smallest possible rank when all the rivers are ordered by length. So what does this mean? This means that separately for each of the leaves of the tree, we want to consider the possibility that this river is as long as possible. So if we want to make this river as, mo as important as possible, we obviously make it flow into the sea. And now in order to, to minimize its rank, what we need to do is to maximize the number of shorter rivers. So we need to assign all of those other rivers somehow in such a way that the, there will be as many shorter rivers as possible. So let's consider the case painted here. Let's uh, look at these black rivers, that are, those lengths are fixed. So the river that starts here, here is a segment of length 50, here is a segment of length 70 and a segment of length 10. And now let's consider here one more river. And this red river is the river we, we are trying to maximize its importance. So we are trying to make as many smaller rivers as possible. So let's consider what happens if this river has some different lengths. If the length of this river is 45, the river will definitely be the third longest one because both this river and this river will definitely be longer regardless of what happens here. This one will have at least 50, this one will have at least 70. So if this is 45, we cannot do anything. If this is 55, what we can do is we can end this river here, so it, its length will be only 50, and this one will be 80. So this river will actually be the second longest. If the length is 65, nothing changes, even though now we can do either have this river or this river go like this, and this will be 60 and 70, or 50 and 80. In either case, one of the rivers will be longer than 65, the other will be shorter. So st 65 still leaves us in second place. If our length is 75, what we can do is we can leave this river only 70 long and make this river length 60 and then this particular river of length 75 will be the longest river. So the structure somehow changes according to what the length of this river is. So there is nothing like completely static we could pre-compute about the rest of the tree in order to answer this quickly. Obviously there would be a quadratic time solution where we do this separately for each, uh, for each leaf. So for each leaf we first build this path and then we process the entire tree. But this is too slow because the number of leaves of the tree can be up to 100,000. So instead we need to be somehow more clever. And the intended solution looks approximately like this. So first of all what we do is we start at the root of the tree, we do one depth first search and we compute the maximum lengths of our rivers. So now for each leaf, we know the maximum length. Now we will take all of these lengths, we will sort them, and we will consider these to be events. So these are events of a type of a query. Uh, we are trying to answer those events. We are for each of those lengths, we are trying to compute the maximum number of shorter rivers. And this will be done in a single simulation. What we will do is we will start at all of the leaves at the same time, and we will just conceptually imagine that the rivers started flowing from all of those places and what is going on. So for instance, if we are only 
if we have a query of size 45 in this example, then 45 means that we got water up to here, 45 from the source and 45 to the source. And they, uh, these river, the other rivers haven't hit any vertex yet. So this means that we cannot make any shorter rivers even if we tried. As soon as we increase it to 55, what happens earlier is this event when the water from this source hits a confluence after 50. And in this case, we already see immediately that we can stop this river here and make a shorter one. So whenever we encounter such an event, we can uh, temporarily make a note that we have a river we can stop. And this increases the importance of the, of the other river, uh, of any of these events. So if there were multiple rivers, for each of them, this one can be shorter. And now we, we go on and on. And if a vertex becomes full, all of the rivers that go inside already reach the vertex, we have to let something through. And so in this way, uh, the rest of the logic can be worked out. We are processing events, we are adding new events as we go. And we have two types of events. One of them is that the water reached a confluence. The other is that we got a query, we got the length we want to answer, and we are computing the answers as we go.